So I have 10 ounces total mixed up, but I'm not going to be using that much um, um, for these. The rest is going to go into there. I'm just going to be mixing up um, roughly 80 milliliters. So I think that one was right at three ounces for the, uh, the tent. And I've already got the, the resin mixed up, so this is just pouring in some to get my colors. If you have to drip, just drip on that. Okay, not that much, goodness gracious. Okay, so and then I need about two ounces in these ones, roughly. Or maybe one and a half. Now I did put the uh, a little bit of alcohol in the bottom of these before I put the uh, mica powder in so it would dissolve and uh, mix a lot better in there. Probably going to have to add some more mica to these because it does not look like they're quite dark enough. This one needs to stay translucent, transparent. You got to be able to have light through it. It does not need to be opaque. And I can't remember, this one's a liquid pigment, but I can't remember if it was an opaque one or a translucent one, so we'll mix and see. I think these are translucent, transparent, good, depending on, you know, how much you use. in some bubbles, but that'll be all right. They'll come out. Set you there for the moment. And let's get a little bit more. Now, this is a no brand name pigment yellow. And I've had it for so long, I honestly don't know. And the Let's Resin Mica Powder Gold. And the Let's Resin Mic Powder Light Yellow. So we have our three different yellows to go in. Move this one out of the way. Next one. Oh, 
I sure hope I have these measure uh, amounts right. Still gotta have room for the clear. So going to go back through again on this one. Cause I know it's deeper and this is a first try doing something this deep. So I don't know how well these are going to work, but it's a trial. Gotta have some room for some clear. And like I said, the effect I'm going for is the uh, crackle effect. Don't know how well it's going to do in the cup here. As I spill some on the outside, I'm missing a little bit. Drip, drip, I can clean that up. I go my fingers. And I guess, let's see. This will be interesting to see how it does in a deep mold. See if we can get the crackle effect going in here. some color and dimension to the bees afterwards on the lid and uh, the one coaster.
Don't let that be too much, please. I have a feeling I did way too much on that. Those, I should say. Yep, 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 yep. Trying to go off all my sides. Way too much. Oi, goodness. Eh, that's on me. Overestimating. Come on, come back. This is completely going to mess up my pattern, I bet you anything, because I way overestimated. stars. All right, I'll get some gold into the bird. The gold. No idea this is going to work, but we'll see. All right, then off for this side. There we go. Since it's already a mixed color, at least get them all together. I just hope I can get the powders mixed properly.
upside down. I'll get you pulled off in a minute. Let's see. Yes, I didn't quite measure enough either. Should have went a little over. For once, I actually measured up the exact amount I had thought I had it properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drip everywhere. Mix up a smidgen more for the bottom of that one. Probably just about an ounce. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put you on a pause, mix up a little more, pour the last of that little bit, and when everything's cured, we'll check it out later. See y'all soon. Of one day savings um, molds, as well as a few spare that I had some leftover resin. The patterns didn't come out 100% on me because you'll see the first part, I completely overfilled these, so I didn't get the patterns I was after. I can, you know, go back in and... Um, color these guys in but you can clearly tell from this side that they just I didn't get what I was after and I don't know if it worked in the deeper molds for those and then these are the, some spares that I had so let's just take a look and see how they did come out Still a little on the soft side. That's because it's not the full 24 hours yet. Has some trimming up to do. Most likely go in and fill these into the top. Because nobody wants a coaster that has, you know, holes that they're going to constantly be having to clean out of for stuff that drips out of your drinks and all that to get down into. So I'll fill these in. Probably use a slightly darker color or lighter color. We'll see. They still came out a nice color having the, the color mix that I used. If I'll redo these again soon. But they're really nice molds. Came out really easily. It's cleaning up really easily. Just 
peeling off right quick. The cured overspill spots on the outside of the mold. Everything came off the inside really nicely. I just didn't get the pattern I was after because I overfilled them and then had to scoop them out, which completely messed up any kind of design and pattern that would have happened. Because I have majorly overfilled. That happens. It's human error. I'll get those sanded down once they harden up after about a week. I try to let anything that needs sanding give it at least a week before I go into doing the, the sanding on resin to make sure it has a nice good cure to it. That way you're not miss, un, changing the, the form or the shape of it. Static cling. And surprising for the thick resin that I use, there's very uh, minimal bubbles that I've noticed so far. I'll do close-ups of these. Next time I'll definitely paint on the inside, but I was hoping to try a different approach today or yesterday. It just didn't work out. And I'll probably put, you know, like black on the inside of there and probably clear in a couple other spots or maybe some like flower colors. Like he's, the bee is sitting on a flower. But probably a little black on the head, the middle section in there. Leave the wings. I'll have to look up. I can't remember if the, the wings have black in them or what, but I'll look. I know the legs aren't the right color, but. That'll just have to be, but So that's those two come out really nicely. Let's try the box that goes with it and see how the pattern come out. It's pretty cool on the top here. Come on, release the suction. Ow, that was my finger that smashed into the table. Ow. <laughs> Came out of the mold really nicely. Still looks good. It, try, it looks like it tried to do some, but I still have transparent here. And then I've got the one yellow color and then the gold color and then here's the only spot that actually looks like it tried to do the the little uh, crackle effect but i'll still like it it looks pretty cool it's almost like the honey's running down that's pretty cool let's see the lid Clean off my mess on here. Oop, I got a big bubble there. I missed. I'll probably have to 
tape it up some and use some UV resin. And fill in those spots. Oh, I like the way the lid came out, though, as far as the colors go. I just ended up with quite a few big bubbles. But like I said, I can use some tape on the sides and fill those in with some UV after I get the sharpness of this part down, get it flattened down some. And use paint marker on him. Let's see, get my glasses first. I can see what I'm doing. Oh, wow. Get dizzy after a minute. <laughs> Probably have to do something on the inside of those to make that stand out a little better. But I do like how the, the lid come out. It got that pattern somewhat. Not too much of the crackle there, but it got some there. Like I said, I'll fill these in. Get some, find my tape. Fill in the couple of big holes and use my deburring tool on here to flatten that out. Keep everything separate until uh, everything's had a you know a good couple of weeks to fully cure. Because if you put it on now, it may adhere and you may not ever get it apart without some serious tools. <laughs> I had that happen to. One of my first sets of coasters, I had them, pulled them out of the molds, and put them into the coaster holder, and they became one. Four coasters in the coaster holder all became one. Um, and they had been out for about three days, or I had cured for about three days before I had actually gotten around to unmolding them, and they still... Because it takes 30 days to fully off-gas and cure for two-part epoxy. And they got stuck to each other. So, I make sure they don't even, you know, touch sideways or anything like that. And they sit on silicone mats um, flat. Not this piece because this is still up. So, they sit flat so they don't get um, any issues. Again, I'll show you this guy, and there's not any bubbles in this at all. This one's 100% perfect. And that's just human error, that the bubbles, because I didn't take my time and try and squish around the rim, which I should have. I was rushing with the mess that I made on the, the coasters. Let's see if I have any around uh, the bird box here next. See how hard this guy is to get out. Let's try.
trying to get that initial break in the suction there. Then you can usually use that to help pull it away around the edges. Come on. I had just started. Loosen up. Got those little pieces on here that are popping off everywhere on my table. Come on, all of you let go. There we go. Release the tail. Pardon me. Without breaking the tail off, I got three bubbles in the tail. But at least none on the top, so you can't see that. And one couple along the edges, too. That's just because I didn't take the time to get in there and squeeze. Get the bubbles out. I think I'm going to do a blue one next. This one kind of reminds me of Tweety Bird, <laughs> the bright yellow canary bird, Tweety Bird. Okay, let's see if I can get this one off any easier. Got some bubbles around the rim there. I can sand these little ones down. They're not going to be a problem. But it sits and fits really nicely. Just like I said, remember, don't leave them set together. You won't be able to get them apart later. So... Readjust the mold back. Get the resin bits off into my little spare container here. Yep, yeah, definitely going to have to get some tape to clean off the molds. Let's do the uh, other ones since we have the them here. They're just some spare molds I use. When I mixed up to finish off the bird, I mixed up too much. I actually finished off a bit of resin that I had because there was so little left in there I just went ahead and finished it off. Whew. And these are so finicky. And still not done because they were done up a couple hours later or about an hour or so later. After everything else. Come 
one out the molds. I might just take this part off, I don't know. that down flat when I get it back out because it is getting all twisted up in here. <laughs> Come on, all you get out. Centerpiece too. Wow. Here we go. <laughs> Pretty honey color. I like that one better. Come on, let's get some of you big chunks off into the bucket. The rest will have to go off with the tape. Out from under my fingernails, though. Okay. See how this one's going to be. Colors are really pretty. I was mixing three different yellows, and I'll show those here again in a minute. These are some complicated molds to get out. For these crystals. I don't even remember where this thing came from. Probably Timu. For this one. That one was Amazon years ago. I think this one was another Tinu one. Okay. <laughs> Boy, the workout. They all look slightly different for the crystals. Those are just little spare things. The main part was this for one day savings. Don't forget, I have a, a coupon in there. 
and I will be doing these again. Um, different colors for the bird and probably different style and design for the bee. Honeycomb. Might do this one again in the same. This one actually came out really good other than my mess up with the bubbles. That was just because I didn't take the time to make sure it didn't or that it that the resin got all the way underneath the lid. When you do that, you put it in and you kind of sort of go around, squeeze down. You can use silicone tools to get in to work the resin around. Also, I just didn't with everything that was, you know, I was in a rush because I had, I made a mistake and overfill these ones a lot. <laughs> so I will set these down on my uh, spot for curing, let them harden up and get them sanded and then taped up for UV resin after I get it the deburred and sanded down to get that nice and flush. Make sure everything sits nice and everything fits all good. Cute little bird. Trinket box. Some neat little patterns on them. I think next I'm going to use the um one of these pastes. Oh, that one's pretty. Might do that one. Or that one, the lighter one. Set that there. I hope you all enjoyed and liked following me along. I will, like I said, I will redo these molds again. And uh, I will have the one day savings um, information in the um, description box, as well as the coupon code and the links to these molds on there. So go check them out. Do a couple more pictures of these. I think he'd been cool to come out as a holographic, do a, another translucent and put a holographic film on the back. So when it comes off, it sh shines through as holographic. I definitely should have used more powder in there. And I got one little spot where it didn't uh, mix in proper. So I got a little chunk of powder right there. Everything else mixed in really well. Just my bubbles. That's just human error. That was on me. That had nothing to do with with the molds. All in all, they're still really cool and pretty. Just need cleanup. Touch up with some colors. Once they're cured for at least a week or so, then I can work on doing the sanding spots that way it's not you know bendy because it hasn't been the full 24 hours don't forget to subscribe to follow along and hit the like button and please comment um, any suggestions you have uh, color suggestions when i do it next or designs or anything like that let me know. Y'all have a wonderful day. I appreciate uh, all my subscribers. Again, this will be, should be the third video. If I can get it uploaded and edited done, it should be three videos coming out on Monday. If not, this one might get pushed to Tuesday. Um, but I definitely have a Timu haul that's coming out today, Monday. <laughs> and um, the... Uh, Winners will be announced um, at noon today, Monday, November 6th, I think it is. 
<laughs> All right. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for uh, watching. Bye.